I like how every time the ancients go away, they're always in the same pose. Oh yeah? Man. They're all like, yeah! We've done something! They always do something. Oh yeah. Alright, so let, let me tell you you two how I, I almost went close to today. Because <laughs> Alex already is. Um, this morning I was playing Hearthstone. You know, like I do whenever I wake up. Play a little bit of Hearthstone. And, uh. <laughs> it was actually not Hearthstone that was gonna make me go post, even though I was getting terrible RNG. It's all good. Um. I'm used to that. I've gotten over that. So I'm in the middle of a match. And a oh, fucking Comcast stopped working. Mm. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's just, just a hiccup or something like the usual stuff. Um, so I'm sitting there. I reset the, uh, the mode. And that shit still ain't working. So, I call, and they're like, oh, hey, uh, what happened? Where's the gun? Oh. Where is it? He's like, he died already. He didn't drop shit. I know. I got a legendary. I glad somebody got something. I don't know. <laughs> So uh, I called the the number for Comcast, and uh, they're like, "Oh, um, there's an outage in your area. The internet's not coming back until like four hours. <laughs> What? <laughs> Mind you, it's like 9:30. <laughs> and I text Alex, and I'm like, "This is the type of shit that makes people go." Cool. I know, especially <laughs> for how much you pay. Yeah, when your internet costs more than 100 bucks, and that shit doesn't work properly. And ask Alex, like, that shit's been disconnecting like crazy lately. Yeah. Yeah. But, man, like, there's a vein in my eye, <laughs> like, in the side of the eye. <laughs> like, I keep an eye on it every day, but it's just been getting, like, thicker and thicker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pulsating now. Yeah. I'm really happy where I live because everybody's so close to each other that they're always competing, so I can just switch to another provider. I like how there was like a whole animation for this enemy right here, and he just died in le less than a second. Yeah, well, what happens when you got four people murder one guy? You wanna know what was one thing that was really annoying about Windows 10? Mm. When I just installed it, I saw that uh, it installed like Candy Crush or some shit on the computer. I was like, I don't want this shit. So I uninstalled it. Restart the computer. Back again. It starts installing again. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you have to go into the Windows Apps program and un uh, disable automatic updating if you don't want that. Because apparently, Candy Crush is part of Windows. Oh wow. <laughs> Never know man, you might want to play that. No. Clicker Heroes is enough for me. Oh. I'm gonna die, die right there. Oh, heard a goblin. Yep, where? I heard him. I heard him, but I don't know where he is. 
think he's on the other side. <laughs> mm. Oh, he's right here, he's right here. Oh, I started the events. Got him. This is Book of Cain thing. It just helps you um, with all your legendary stuff. Like instead of um, identifying each one individually, if you have multiple ones, you go to there and it unlocks them all for you. I'm guessing you don't use that often because you don't find shit. Nope. <laughs> like, the only time I find multiple ones is if I go into a rift. But... Have you guys heard of a game called Spiral Knights? Yeah, I auto downloaded it to my library once. Really? Yeah, I think it's free on Steam. It's a free to play game. Yeah. Yeah, so I was bored one day. This is a while back. And uh, so I downloaded it, and I was like, yeah, "It's like a, it's like a multiplayer MMO co-op thing. Let me let me see how it is." So basically, uh, you're like an alien, and I think he gets I think he gets shipwrecked, and you crash onto a planet, not unlike Earth. And you gotta... It's, it's very dungeon based, like you just go into dungeons, you complete the dungeon, there's like a, a boss at the end of every dungeon. Um, yeah, that, that's it. I mean, you get your character is like a little robot alien looking thing. I don't even know if they have genders. They seem to have genders. Or... It's, it was weird because sometimes you put armor on your character and they look like a male and then you change the armor and then they look like a female. It was really strange. I don't know if they're just like... I don't know. Like maybe... They like... They can change their genders on the fly. I don't know. Some weird alien shit going on. Um... You don't really like pick a class in the game. You can be like both ranged and melee. Like you start off with a pistol and a sword, so you can just change as as you feel. Um, I don't know. It was okay. How's the gameplay? It's very like. <laughs> You you click to move, but you also like you hit stuff on the butt on the keyboard to um to attack. Like if you want to you do a regular attack, let's say it's like Z, and then if you want to defend, like if you want to put up your shield, you put hit Z, and then you have like certain skills on the number of keys. I think. I so okay. It was so really it's... it was really basic. I don't know. I I played maybe like two hours of it. Um, I got to like the third town or some shit. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're probably not interested in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a like an, an adventure dungeon crawler. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's definitely not open world. <laughs> It's really basic. I think th that's the thing. Like, it was really basic, and the graphics were not to my liking. Like, they weren't bad, but they were just very simple. Mm. And uh, it, you know what it was? It was the puzzles. The puzzles got me. I couldn't deal with the puzzles. <laughs> like, I had to figure out like a maze. I was like, no, I can't do this shit, and that's why I stopped. Playing. Oh, uh, um, Rebecca, look at this. This is for you. 
Cool, thanks. The, the system of the game is really strange, like, uh, like how you upgrade items. You upgrade items in the game, so, like, every time you beat a boss, it gives you, like, this thing called heat. And then, when you use the heat as, like, XP on your equipment, and then you level up the equipment. So, you could theoretically keep equipment for a really long time in the game. Um... Even though I didn't, bless you. Bless you. I didn't find much equipment myself, so... What are, what are we doing? Protecting the... The armor, the blacksmith over here. Oh, okay. I did review the footage, and I did in fact die to a fucking explosion. Watch out, please. Just, just thought I'd throw that out there. Just stay away from those explosions. You know, sometimes it's just really tempting to just rush in and do stupid stuff. Mm. I don't know if you can uh, relate. Travel with something. You know, I, I don't have to run away, I just stand there. <laughs> no, I mean just the <laughs> urge to do stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah. Basically playing like I do in HOTS. Yeah. How I That's used to all. play uh, League of Legends. Do super <laughs> shit all the time. Everybody used to hate me. It's a game, man. Can't yeah. take it too seriously. That's where you're wrong, I guess. Because <laughs> we'll take it too serious. You can't take the game too serious. I don't think you should be able to take any MOBA too seriously. I guess it's different if um if you're like oh shit. Oh shit. Let's see how these movies. Yeah, I don't want no part of that. I guess if you're playing like ranked or something, but I don't know. So I was watching Pally the other day. Uh, do you, do you know who Pally Time is, Dylan? Um, no, I'm not familiar with it. Okay, he he works for uh, TGN. He's part of Squadron. He uh he plays Heroes of the Storm among other things, but he's like a really good Heroes of the Storm player. At least to me, I've learned a lot from him. Um, and. Uh, He's playing a, a ranked match, and I guess he was, uh, it was his turn to pick a, a character, and they were like, and somebody in the party was like, you need to pick Diablo, or some shit, I can't remember. And he's, he's like, no, I'm just gonna do me. I'm gonna pick, uh, Artanis. And then... The, the guy in the party's like, oh my god, this guy's a fucking moron. What the fuck is he doing? He didn't pick... He didn't pick, like... Oh, <laughs> uh, is this a treasure goblin? No. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, so, he blocks him. He just, like, mutes him, I guess, from the chat. And then it turns out that Artanis was, like, the best fucking character to, to, against the, uh, the enemy team. And uh, they 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 just like completely fucking curb stomp the enemies. Yeah, when I was playing with the uh, Alex ranked, uh, people hated when I picked Nova. Pick who? Nova. Oh. And then when I got like twenty kills in like like the first ten minutes, they were like, "Oh shit, never mind." Yeah. Yeah, everyone started uh, to stop. Uh, it's one of those things where people people are so fucking serious and think they know everything, but uh, you know they can be wrong. <coughs> well, and it all depends on the other team. I mean, just because something's good doesn't mean it's gonna work well with the team. Right. Like in that instance, uh, the guy's probably thinking that Diablo or whoever was universally good pick, but. Uh, Pally made a made a decision and 
chose somebody else that was good. And like Alex said, you know, like it, if you, if you start playing something with your friends and they start taking it too seriously, I think you need to tell your friends to be like, yo, maybe you need to find a new group of people to, to play this seriously with, because I'm just playing this shit for fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why Alex won't play with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Did you break it down for him, Alex? Hmm. I don't know where the elite is. It's right at the door. Okay, I don't have any more mana, so... And all of my skills are off. For some reason. 